Selecting a course for your higher studies is definitely a very big and important decision to make. If chosen wrong, it can lead you to a very difficult position in your career where going back could be next to impossible. Therefore, choosing a course becomes far more important than anything for a student. And I am here to make your that decision a lot easier. So good morning guys, I am Dhruv and I am an international student who is very soon going to start his international study. Choosing a subject was not at all easy for me and there were a lot of things which I learned during the way and I hope that some of those things I knew earlier but I am here to share all those things with you so that you make the very right choice for your higher studies. Choosing a subject for your higher education is the most important thing in your life and I want you guys to treat it the same way. Because if you mess this, you are going to mess everything that comes after this and it will be really really hard for you to go back. Another thing which I want to make clear from the very beginning is that this is your course. So you should be the one choosing it, not your friends, not your family, not your relatives, nobody else, not your agent for sure, just you. Now how to begin this process? So let me tell you one thing very clearly that you will require time for this. Take two days out of your life. If you go to school, skip school for two days. If you go to a college, skip college for two days. And in those two days, I want you guys to sit in front of the computer for 10 hours with a pen and paper. Now what you need to do in those 10 hours? Number one thing is you need to understand what you are currently studying. And if you want to pursue the same in your future, or you want to niche down to some another topic and choose your higher studies in that. For example, I chose PCM in my class 12th, which is physics, chemistry and math because I was interested in CS and IT field. So after that, I did my B.Tech, a bachelor's in IT with specialization in information security. So when I was learning information security, that was the time when I realized interest towards cyber security. And that's why for my higher studies in Canada, I am choosing cyber security as my primary course and cloud architecture and administration as my secondary course. Now I want you guys to understand a very basic thing which is the hierarchy of higher education. Now there's something which is called general fields, then there are categories and then there are specialized fields or subcategories. So you need to understand that the higher your education is, the nicher you are going to go into a subject or the deeper your study is going to be. So always choose a subject for higher studies whose foundation is the subject that you are currently studying. Don't make this mistake where you have completed your class 12th with PCM and you want to pursue your higher studies in finance. If you wanted to pursue finance, you should have taken commerce in your class 12th. Now after doing all this research, you would have some keywords or some specific courses that you are interested in. Go on Google and type colleges with dash course in Canada or universities with dash course in Canada. Now you might face a problem here as well that the course that you want to study is not actually available in a lot of colleges or universities in Canada. So what you want to do now is you need to broaden your niche. So if you are searching for a keyword, think for a similar keywords. For example, if you are interested in hacking, you'll actually not find a course which states that PG diploma in hacking in Canada. You'll actually find other keywords such as cyber security, uh, cyber crime, etc. So you should be open and little flexible at the same time. You should not be too focused on a keyword. Another thing which I want you to do is whenever you are choosing a course for your higher education, always know what are the final job designations that you will get after passing out from that study. So for example, if I choose cyber security, so when I apply for a job, which designation will I be offered? So there are several designations here as well. For example, cyber security analyst, information security analyst, threat analyst, ethical hacker, or even an IT systems and network administrator. And most probably you will find all these things under your course description. And that's one of the reasons why I emphasize so much actually looking at your course descriptions. Everything that you want is available on the college websites itself. Another very important thing that you should do is check the average salary that you can get if you choose one of the careers mentioned above. Like an average salary doesn't really guarantee the final salary that you're going to land upon, but it will definitely give you an idea of what to expect. 
also a point that i'm going to tell you now can be a little subjective for example if i wanted to become a cyber security analyst and then while studying i realized that if i learn these these skills more i would actually become an ethical hacker and earn maybe fifty thousand dollars more now in that case i would be the person who would learn extra skills and actually chase that money that fifty thousand dollars because i think money is important for me in whichever field you choose you will have another field besides it which will pay a little extra so it's you to decide if you want to step out of your comfort zone and grab that extra money or if you want to be happy with what you have so this is a decision that you need to make as well another very important thing which a lot of students do not do is actually checking the syllabus and this is i guess one of the the most important thing for example if you have a same course in a top college in canada which states cyber security the same course is also available in a very low grade college as well in canada which also states cyber security but what i noticed was there was a significant difference in the actual syllabus and initially i was shocked but later then i realized that that's what separates the top colleges in canada with the lower grade colleges in canada the top colleges like seneca gbc have the best world class syllabuses as well but other colleges in canada do not offer that much so that's what makes seneca and gbc the top two in terms of my field in cyber security if you have watched video till here i want to reward you with some websites which will really really help you so number one is linkedin and indeed also canadavisa.com glassdoor.com are a very good websites as well and also the most important website is your college and university website itself so make sure you go through that website thoroughly first and then look for external websites outside also another thing which you can do is if you watch the video till now you can like this video you can subscribe to my channel and you can comment down below if you have any other doubts and thank you so much for watching see you guys in the next one